Hey folks, welcome to our channel. Family friendly bushcraft. If you want to see different content, put it in the comments below. But make sure you hit that bell for notifications. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you say about nettles and cord, didn't we, when we were up the hill? So while Connor uses his shot, you can process nettles with your bare hands without getting stung. I mean, nothing's happened to that part of the the stem yet. So I'm just doing that with my bare hands. But you know this is about teaching you guys and why get you stung if I don't need to so just a gardening glove just rubbing up and down the stem taking all the leaves away okay so that is prepped there's no stinging fronds left anywhere in there okay and another one again a little bit of confidence you can do it without getting stung you can process it just knock all the, the stinging hairs down but again yeah I'm working with you guys so I find there's nothing more off-putting to people when they're starting to do tricks like oh, this than doing, getting stung and being in pain. So let's avoid it if we can. So what I'm doing, I'm knocking all the stinging hairs dead, just using an old gardening glove and taking all the extra excess leaves off. When we were up the hill the other day, we were bashing these, weren't we? To see if that would work. There's two ways of doing it for proper. You can split it down with your fingernail which is the safest way, or you can split Safety. it down with a knife. Use that anyway in a bit. As you can see, thumbnail, once the split has started, just continues to open it up. No, I can, I can. And we could go right the way along the plant. Very little there. If you're enjoying the content so far, please do hit that like button, because every press we get really does help us out. Thanks very much. So if you're going to use a knife, you just want it up the middle of the nettle. Again, cutting edge away from your fingers oh, yeah. and just start yeah. splitting it down the middle. It doesn't matter if you go through the other side, because we'll use that anyway in a bit. As you can see, thumbnail, once the split has started, just continues to open it up. No, I can't, I can't. We could go right the way along the plant. Very little effort, nice just a steady yeah. pressure. Nice stop. Just take it off up there. So now we've got the plant split. This green part inside is the outer fibre we want for making the cord. So this green part inside is the pith, and we want to snap it. Okay. So you work it back until you free the outer layer of fibrous stuff from the pith. Then we just start to peel it down, take it all the way to the end of the plant. Then the other side the same, we're stripping that out of fibre. There we go. The pith can go away, that can rot down and we've got to feed the ground again. And we'll do the same for these other two stems and just go for a bit more speed. Now that's my case in point. I just managed to find one of the stinging hairs that I hadn't managed to remove and stung myself. So this is why I teach it with the gardening glove so I don't get you guys too pestered by it all. all along the length of it and the best ways to do that is on your leg you see encouraging the natural twisting process we're going to start bringing it all together and as you can see it's starting to get thinner towards the end which is why we then have another one ready to go so again we'll we'll twist this get that motion going now you can see as you bring it together when you've been twisting it it naturally tries to to twist together which is a good thing because we'll see in a minute how that helps No, 
as that twists together we want to encourage that process and again on our leg just keep it going keep it winding up because that is now quite strong and we will want to there we go that's fibers from several stalks together very strong that's got to be it's got to be 15 20 pound of pressure put on there then metal cordage are we finished yeah should i press it yeah if you've enjoyed watching today's content as much as we've enjoyed making it please do hit subscribe press like ring that bell for notifications and leave any comments below. We'll do our best to answer any questions that are posted within the first couple of days of posting.